Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well... Can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She thinks there could be more of these? This has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. I'm sorry, I Can you imagine really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? I've passed by this particular tree many times, and honestly, I never gave it a second thought. Does it hold some sort of special significance? Finally, somebody understands. Unless, wait. You're not mocking me, right? People. <laughs> Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, 
There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. some kind of an acrobat. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? 
Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. If any luck tracking down those sensors. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that... The internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Can't wait!
Pick up a hug. I know your type. Suppose I have time for a nap before we leave? Hmm?
got anything on your scanner?
hull. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. Oh, I feel light as a feather in this gravity. I thought it was just a couple of nests. <sighs> Take care of your ship. Could end up costing you otherwise. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> it's depressing. How's it going? Can I help you? Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Oh man, no, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, you see. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Come back anytime. Time is my love, so if you've got something to say, then say it. Enroll them in a United Colonies Distance Learning Program today. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? 
comfort of your own home. Put your children on the right path to success and enroll today. Do you now? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point it's probably for the best. Dr. Walker decided to start brewing and selling his own pharmaceuticals to our customers, below cost. Something his contract expressly forbade. As such, we requested our cut of the profits and began garnishing his salary. Perhaps a little too severely, but well within legal limits. It was around then that he ran off, abandoning his duty and his unpaid accounts. They were all devils. Red devils. A UC Marine unit based here on Mars, though they were disbanded shortly after the Colony War. I presume a number of them served alongside Dr. Walker. Bonds forged in battle and all that. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so... unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? Why? Feeling charitable? I don't recall the exact figure off the top of my head, but with the interest it's accrued, I believe it's something substantial. So, if you were able to find him, and convince him to clear his accounts, you would have our honest gratitude. Oh, I can't believe you're helping them. What a stupid waste of time. Wonderful. I suggest paying a visit to the Sixth Circle, what I suppose is technically a bar on the lowest level of the city. If anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. What if the ship jumps without me? Spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong. Andy, you. Why don't you come here and tell me what some Vanguard captain wants with Walker? Stray topsider wanders into my bar, asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with him? Hadrian? A woman named Hadrian sent you, a member of the Vanguard, to find Percival. If that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right, Captain. If you are who you say, Supra et Ultra. Vanguard motto. What's it mean? Should have gotten that during your oath. Hmm, I see. And tell me, 
What grade was it you got on your entrance exam? A, C, D plus? That is right. All right, Captain. Maybe you are who you say you are. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. Well, most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the Authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records, and collections files, on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. But, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another, Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority Storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear? Ooh, and you might need these. And I look forward to hearing the good news. Hey, you! Maybe Adrian's friend. Come here! Heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, good, good. Oh, Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage, but Percival and I, we've been working on some... projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. If you give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Ugh, a bunch of parasites and cutthroats. They're folks from the fringes of space, willing to put down anyone who tries to move in on what they've decided is theirs, even when it ain't. Strange this group would pick Mars as a new home. Sure, we're not downtown New Atlantis, but there are places where they'd be bothered less than here. My guess is the Authority tipped them off when they heard we were working down there, and cut off what they thought was the competition, you know? biggest employer on Mars has always been Demo Star Yards. After the Colony War, Armistice meant they needed a lot fewer warships. Fewer ships meant fewer minerals. That meant a lot of folks scrounging for work around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. The Lux condos aren't anything special. 